Hey guys, it's Ivy. Welcome to a new world. Today I want to share with you about the reason why I love doing what I do, supporting women having the birth of their dreams. And even if you don't end up having the birth of your dreams, what I'm really all about is supporting a woman in connecting with her power, connecting with herself, connecting with her trust in her body and her trust in nature and that primal connection to her baby. And, you know, people ask me all the time why I became a doula, and there is actually a pretty cool story to that, which I'll share in a future video. But I find over the years the layers of why I do what I do just keep unfolding. It's kind of like, let me count the reasons. And one more of those layers came forward the other day when I was online and I saw a video of animals, all kinds of animals, one by one being released from their cages. These were animals that were in captivity their entire lives and were seeing freedom for the first time. And so in this video it showed a dog standing for the first time, being released from the dog's cage and finding its legs and it would kind of fall and hobble around and then get back up and then it showed chickens kind of pecking around curiously for the first time just ruffling their feathers chickens that had been cramped in crates their entire life and then there was a lion that was released and just leapt out of the cage and I was moved to tears by the sight of these animals seeing freedom by our fellow earthlings the creatures who are not so different than we are, especially when it comes to birth. So in birth we have a saying, let your monkey do it. And that means turning off the prefrontal cortex, which distinguishes humans from the animal kingdom, and getting into that limbic brain, the mammalian brain, and so that we can really trust our body and connect with our body, which is something we've, most of us, all our lives, have been conditioned not to do. And so birth is really a, a wonderful opportunity to connect with our animal nature that is so useful, even if you're not giving birth, it's so useful as a woman and as a man to leading a more empowered life. Our body is the seat of our intuition. We connect with our intuition via sensation. That's why they say we have a sense, a sixth sense. It's really through the feelings communicated in our body, in our physical being. It's where our emotions are held and being in touch with our bodies allows us to release those habitual patterns so that we can evolve and live to our full potential. So to make a very long story short, seeing this video connected me with how much freedom is a, a force of inspiration. It is just such a powerful force. And for the last hundred years, beginning around probably in the 1920s, women were strapped down to hospital beds to give birth in this country, literally strapped to the bed. And in many places, that's still the case. They're put in stirrups to deliver. Not that that's a bad thing. There's beautiful, magnificent, empowered births that happen with the mama's feet in the stirrups. But my point being that there is a history worldwide of women in chains, people in chains, minorities in chains, but in, in my practice I see the ramifications of women in chains, not just physically but psychologically as well. And so unleashing yourself is a huge part of what motivates me. That is why I do what I do. It's what I love to see and it's what I live to help facilitate in you and in myself and ideally to birth a transformed world. So thank you so much for joining me today. I encourage you to reflect on how we might be able to unleash ourselves more, whether it is in the way we move through life on a daily basis, in our jobs, in our relationships, in our places where we live. Maybe it's just in our own minds, in our emotions. Uh, play with that and let me know how it goes. And if you want to learn more about the work that I do and what I can offer you in terms of supporting you in unleashing yourself for a powerful birth and beyond, check out my Embodied Heart Program, which is a 10-week journey facilitating the childbirth of your dreams and postpartum period 
even if you haven't conceived yet, conceiving a baby and, you know, birth is really a metaphor for life. So even if a baby is not on your horizon, all of these tools are exactly the same tools you would use to birth the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time in a new world.